My name is Pat Iyer, and my life was changed forever. When I walked into a conference room, when I was in graduate school, and I saw a woman sitting in a wheelchair. She was slumped over, looked dejected, and explained to us that she was paralyzed. Her husband had hit her with a baseball bat and broken her back. And I sat there thinking, why did she stay with him? Why didn't she just leave? Because in my life, being raised by a strong mother, I couldn't imagine my mother sitting still and being abused and not leaving that situation. I decided to write my paper on the topic, and that paper I turned into a nursing journal article, and that nursing journal article led me to write more articles and then my first book, and I started testifying as an expert witness in nursing malpractice cases and built a very large and successful legal nurse consulting business. Now, the irony in all of this was that about a year after my nursing journal magazine um, article was published, my mother called me up one day and she said, I'm leaving Ken. And I said, why? And she said, well, he hit me. And I went to the emergency room and I had them take pictures of me. And then I went home and I said, here are the terms and here's how we're going to play this game. And this is what's going to happen. And she reacted just as I expected. But I thought I didn't even realize that she was living in that volatile situation. That got me interested even more on domestic violence. And I teamed up with Teresa DeVitt Lynch, who is a forensic nurse with deep knowledge of domestic violence and interpreting and analyzing those kinds of cases. So Therese, let's talk a little bit about the conference that we have planned that's coming up and some of the topics that we're going to be discussing in that two-day online virtual conference that we've scheduled for June 9 and 10, 2022. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. Um, day one, we're going to talk about closed head injuries, um, forensic psych issues related to domestic violence, and how forensic psychologists are involved in these cases in the criminal system, strangulation. Um, and then, you know, for closed head injuries and strangulation, there'll be a couple of LNCs discussing what to look for in the medical records. Uh, a lot of the times these cases are very difficult for prosecutors to try because of the dynamics of the relationship. It's a very manipulative relationship and often the victim will either recant their statements um, or refuse to testify because of either manipulation or threats made by the perpetrator. And so, you know, having the medical evidence available and having somebody versed in the uh, dynamics of domestic violence, the injuries associated with the different types of mechanisms of injuries can be a, a key element to getting people held responsible for their actions because that could be used in lieu of the testimony of the victim in some cases. Our focus in this two-day conference is to prepare you as a legal nurse consultant so that you can effectively help attorneys with handling these kinds of cases. They may come up as part of working on another case. There might be, for example, you're working on a personal injury case and then you realize that uh, some of the injuries of the victim are not due to the car crash but might have been pre-existing or may occur afterwards. So it can be woven into other cases that you're involved in. And if you've ever worked in the emergency department as a nurse, you know that it can be very difficult to elicit the details from a woman, particularly if that woman comes to the emergency department accompanied by a man. Um, I don't mean to imply, and I think, Teresa, uh, I sound like since we're talking about she, 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 there are men who are battered by other people in the household. And there's elder abuse, which is another whole area yeah. of exploration. Yep. 
We would love for you to be able to sign up for this conference. You can go to this link, which is http colon forward slash forward slash lnc.tips forward slash dv. That stands for domestic violence. That link again right below here is http colon forward slash forward slash lnc.tips forward slash dv. Take this opportunity to broaden your knowledge about this special kind of case and show another area of skill that you can use when you are assisting your attorney clients. Thanks so much.